Today at 4 on CBS 2. Check out CSI Miami and all the CBS shows on CBS.com. You guys been out drinking, huh? You know, two for one specials, Jabber no, Underground. I Simon, can smell we it. need yeah. you to do something, and technically it's breaking the law. But it's for a really good cause, and that makes a difference, doesn't it? Simon, who's at the door? Uh, no one, honey, it's all right. Just go back to bed, back to bed. It's all right. She's just got out of hospital. Liver, donation, ring a bell. How is she? She's doing good, but she needs some rest right now. So. Well, if I know Katie like I think I know Katie, nothing's going to hold her down. Ah, you got that right. Hey, what are you doing? What are you... I'm sorry, I'm just bored to see it. Hey, Paul, look at you. You look great. So do you. It's good to see you. Huh. I was just telling these guys how much you needed your rest, and they were about to leave, right? Oh, don't be ridiculous. They just got here, and I need some company. Come on, aren't you going to invite them in? I hope I haven't kept you waiting. Oh, no, not at all. I'm just so happy you could squeeze me in at such short notice. You know, I wanted to speak with you about my little sister, about everything you're doing for her. You know, footing the bill for this boarding school for a girl you barely know. It's so generous. Well, there's no need to thank me. Oh, <laughs> I didn't invite you here to thank you. No, actually, I asked you here to ask you to take your generous offer and do something else with it. Oh, Allison's mother certainly seemed taken with the idea. Yes, well, my mother and I are very different people with two very different viewpoints on certain issues. You know how you and your sister Carly don't always agree? It's sort of like that. You see, I don't want my sister going away to boarding school. Oh, gosh, I, I thought you would at least embrace this idea. This being your honeymoon year and all, and after all, you really have your hands full dealing with Barbara Ryan. Well. You and Susan, I think, really need some peace and quiet. Believe me, I know what raising a teenager can be like these days. Really? So now you're raising Craig's daughter. That's interesting. I'm sure that's news to Craig. All I meant was, I'm sure Allison could use some much-needed lessons and responsibility and integrity. Hmm. You know, as hard as Allison is to handle at times, most of the time, she has more integrity than most people twice her age. She thinks for herself, and she can spell a hypocrite a mile away. So even though she's a bit of a wild child, I really like having her around. Oh, well, that's so sweet. But I'm afraid I have pulled a lot of strings to get Allison admitted to Wentworth before the regular deadline, so I'm really sorry, Emily. I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist we forge ahead with our agreement. Well, I'm really sorry, too, Rosanna, but that would be a serious mistake. Good things are happening, lose great things. I can feel it. it. It must be one of those psychic connections sisters have, you know? You have a psychic connection with Emily? I do now, because right at this very minute, my wonderful sister is keeping me from having to wear an awful uniform at some snob factory. I mean, she's really coming through for me this time. I know, what is happening with everyone? I still can't believe my father didn't blow a gasket when I wiped off when Aaron's motorcycle landed in the emergency room. Mm, talk about a minor miracle. <laughs> I thought he was going to eat Aaron alive. You know, ever since my brother died, my dad goes crazy whenever I'm near anything the least bit dangerous. Cars, boys, makeup, opinions. It's like we're in this parallel universe or something. Yeah. I mean, it seems like there's been this magical spell on everyone over 30. Things are definitely looking up. You two still at it? Hi, Mr. M. <sighs> Where have you been? Ah, oh, getting a few of my ducks in a row. So you want me to go back to Seattle? Just like that? Yeah, I think we need to talk about it. It's because Lucy's father, isn't it? He said something. I should have known. I mean, why didn't I see this coming? Just Last blast. night at the hospital, That's the, he's playing off like he's all good. Uh, like accidents happen to everybody. And that jerk turns around and goes straight to you? After everything I did for him? What did you do for Craig? Just tell me, how did he do it? How did he do it? I mean, did, did he tell you I was a bad influence? Huh? Did he pump you full of lies that you just couldn't ignore? That's not how it happened. Then what happened? Why am I being busted? How come I, I'm no longer wanted around here anymore?
Plan Banana Cream, the smooth, nutritious way to help manage your weight. Slim Fast, it's your life. Feed it right. Leaks. Who needs them? No other diaper stops leaks better than Huggies Ultra Trim. No leak is a good leak. Need an extra outlet? Only Glade Plug-In Scented Oil has an extra outlet built right in so it won't block yours. Wizard doesn't have it. Plug it in, plug it in. Need an extra outlet? Only Glade Plug-In Scented Oil has an extra outlet built right in so it won't block yours. Wizard doesn't have it. Plug it in, plug it in. We're pulling over a plumber's truck. Uh, step out of the truck, please. Is there a problem, officer? Keep your hands down there, sweetheart. Well, well, well. This is suspicious. But I'm a plumber. So what's a plumber doing with professional strength liquid plumber clog remover? I admit it. I've used it on backed up sinks. That's pretty serious. Oh, yeah. You pour it in. It's like a missile. It cuts right through the water to deliver some serious power to that clog. Wow. Clog's gone. Professional strength liquid plumber on tough clogs. Don't get caught without it. <laughs> Donut? That's not funny. Mom takes Metamucil. I never will. That's what you think. I found a better way to take my fiber. Benefiber. Unlike Metamucil, it won't get thick and gritty. It's taste-free, too. Mom can have her Metamucil. That's what you think. Benefiber makes taking fiber easier. Comfort. It's what makes your baby happy. That's why there's Carnation Good Start, the only routine formula whose proteins are broken down to be easy to digest. They're called comfort proteins, and only Good Start has them. Carnation Good Start from Nestle. Uh, okay. I'm going out. All right. Okay. Wow. I mean, she keeps tabs on me 24 7. But now my brother's age and old enough to do stuff like smoke pot, will she even be paying attention? Hey, just because you can walk doesn't mean you don't want your mom and dad to ask you where you're going. Whose parents are going to be there? Jesse. Did you leave the number? Yes. Fine. She cares. Hey, can a baby get some attention around here? Talk. No. Ask. Parents. The anti drug. Could a minor infection cost you your life? 48 hours tonight. Tonight on The Late Show, Dave's got John Travolta. David, can you see me? <laughs> Plus, Nelly and new school textbooks. Gray's Anatomy, just the good stuff. Tonight. Last time we'll be meeting in a public place. Ah, well, I'll drink to that. There's an envelope under your napkin. Hmm. Ooh, this isn't nearly as thick as I expected, Marshall. It's fifteen hundred. You promised five thousand. You'll get the rest after you get friendly with Paul Ryan. You know, I'm tired of jumping through hoops for you, Marshall. You don't have much of a choice. Now, I need you to find out what Ryan thinks he knows about my relationship with James Stenbeck. Okay, you know, I'm still not exactly clear on what I'm supposed to tell Paul Ryan about you and me. Tell him the truth. Explain that you've been my unwilling informant, that you're forced to help me because I have damaging evidence about your past. Evidence that will surely end your chances in this town for good. Look, there's nothing Ryan enjoys more than a damsel in distress. Then, in a moment of deep remorse and shame, you reveal that I've sent you. This is sounding more and more complicated. It doesn't have to be. Just be sincere. And with any luck, Paul will ask you to help him set me up. Uh, and while I'm pretending to help him, I'm telling you everything they've got on you. Mm. Devious. Should I be impressed? Be thorough and be quick. The election is next week. Uh. If it means getting my money and getting you off my back, it can't come soon enough for me. I don't think this is a social call, right, guys? But actually, we were just uh, asking Simon to do some detective work for us. We pay top dollar, and you'd be doing this entire town a huge service. And I haven't said yes yet. By the so way. what's the job? Anything's better than selling insurance, right? <laughs> Look, I know you've been out of town and out of the loop for a while, but have you heard about Marshall Travers? Mm, sounds familiar. Yeah, well, he's running against my mother for DA. We have reason to believe that he's connected to Stenbeck. Ooh, major bad news. But we need proof. 
So how are you going to get that? We want to do some surveillance. You know, while you're marshaled for sound. So why don't you go to the cops? We did. Jack said we need a court order and probable cause and things like that take time. We have less than a week to make this thing happen. And why is Travis running for office here in Oakdale? I think my father wants to put him in position as DA to make sure all the charges against him are dropped. And charges against James Stenbeck will never be dropped so long as my mother stays on as DA. So we need to prove and publicize this man's connected to Stenbeck. All right, look, I'm going to tell you, electronic surveillance is not really my strong point. And I'm not so crazy about being the guy that everyone turns to in this town when they need something illegal done. Does it matter that it's illegal if it's for the right reason, Simon? Look, you're asking me to do something that the cops turn down, that they won't touch. And Katie's just got out of hospital. She's recovering from a major operation. I'm sorry, all right? You know, I really would like Wait, to help out. You know what, just... Bonnie? You know what, Simon? We understand. We will just have to look elsewhere, Bonnie. Let's Good. go. No, no, hold it right there. Don't go anywhere until Simon and I have a minute to talk about this. I heard a rumor my daughter is here. You don't have to go home already. Lucy and I barely got a chance to talk. I still haven't said goodbye to Aaron. Honey, you're not shipping off to the South Seas. Well, it sure feels like it. You'll have plenty of weekends at home to hang out with your friends. It'll be more than that, hopefully. Good luck. See ya. Bye. Bye, Mr. M. Bye, Lucy. Bye. So, where's Miss A packing off for? Her mom should bring her off to some boarding school in Wisconsin. Boarding school? Lucky girl. Builds character or something? Character is one thing Allison is not lacking. Well, I know you're gonna miss your friend. I'll survive. Probably means I'll get more time to spend with Aaron. Hmm. You know... I've been thinking about your future. You got a minute? Mama talked to your folks the other day. Yeah? Yeah. Caleb and Julie have been through counseling. Sounds like they're a lot happier. Things are a lot better than they were before. Oh, that's because I'm not there. Aaron, I spoke to your mother myself. She loves you, she misses you, and she wants you to know that she's doing everything she can to make this marriage with Caleb work. Oh, isn't that great? And now it's gonna be my job to make sure they stay together now. What's gonna happen to me the next time something goes wrong? I, I can't believe my, my mom makes one phone call to you and you're ready to go back on everything you said to me when I first got here. Truth is, I called them. You did this? You decided? If you've got such a big problem with me, how come you didn't just come to me? I'm coming to you now. After you called Seattle behind my back. No, it wasn't like that. I told you when I came here that I'm not going anywhere. And I meant it. I'm not a kid anymore, Holden. Soon I'll be able to do whatever I want. You're doing everything that you want to do right now. Let me tell you, you're doing quite the job. You're pretty ticked off, but. What have I done that's been such a crime? I have been there to back you up ever since you rode into town. I have come to your rescue. I have been there for you. And yesterday was an accident. It was you proving to me and the entire world that you are incapable of thinking about anyone but yourself. Who's five times more relaxed, five times bolder, five times freer? You are. With five times cleaner, drier protection from new Always Ultra. It's five times better than any other Ultra Pad. New Always Ultra. Come on. He's your big brother, and you want underwear just like his. Introducing New Pampers Easy Ups, training pants that feel more like underwear than the leading brand, and go up easy like underwear. To you, it is underwear. New Pampers Easy Ups. Okay, this is your trash. I got the trash. I'll be right back. Uh-huh. Want to get the dishes done quicker? Get Dawn. It cleans through grease faster, so you finish faster. So get Dawn and get done.
Introducing Seasons Freshness, the freshness of the seasons and the antibacterial strength you trust from Mr. Clean. Looking for better allergy relief? It's right under your nose. Benadryl. Benadryl's proven better than the leading prescription allergy medicine. Medical studies prove histamine blocking Benadryl to be more effective at relieving your worst allergy symptoms. Like runny nose, sneezing, itchy nose, and watery eyes. Benadryl, proven more effective than the leading prescription allergy medicine. Ensure friendship. Ensure laughter. Ensure tears. Ensure victory. Millions of healthy people are discovering Ensure. One glass gives you complete balanced nutrition when you can't have foods like these. Ensure family. Wonder. Life. Ensure to your health. Now with Lutein to help support the health of your eyes. Tired of dry, stubbly legs? Now there's Curel Smooth Leg Shave Minimizing Moisturizer. Fixes dry skin with twice the moisture and makes hair less visible. So you shave half as often. Smooth move. New Curel Smooth Legs. I don't smell them. I'm the only cat left. It's all mine. You'd never know there were three cats in here. Three? Formulated for multiple cats? <laughs> Tidy cats. Multiple strength. For multiple cats. Oh, Henry. Oh, hey. Is this all the progress you've made? I'm sorry, Lucinda. I've, uh... Well, my brain cells have been getting in the way, you know? Darling, my new editor is coming next week. I wanted this office to be just ready and wonderful and bright and shiny. And... Okay. Give me a progress report. How does it feel to be doing real, honest, hard work? Um, like an appendectomy, only not as much fun. Hmm? What is all this junk? Listen, no, why, why can't we just throw this out? Uh, uh, dear, let's not talk about junk. This, this is the work of my late editor, this Jake McKinnon. This is oh. his life's work. You don't throw away a man's life's work, do you? Mm. Like a pair of old boots, his family want his papers. It may not be glamorous, but it's important. Swell, that's what I've always aspired to. Uh, what was that? Hmm? When you finish with the boxes, okay, you can supervise the setting up at the press conference with DA tomorrow. Okay. Um, can you just tell me something here, please? Is it so important to you to put me through all this? Darling, so help me God, I think I'm the only force that stands between you and a life of white-collar crime. <laughs> so instead of, instead of questioning my motives, you ought to be thanking me. You, why am I your pet project? Darling, I've had many protégés. <laughs> many in my career. <laughs> the, the last one was Rose, that diamond in the rough. Oh, wait, wait, please, please, please don't mention diamonds, okay? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Okay. <laughs> and Rose, as we both know, has opted to nurse her, her poor old sick father. Darling, I just felt, I mean, I... I felt that I owed you something for what you did in Ivanya for me. So this is an opportunity. It's a golden opportunity. Oh, Make the most of it. I see. You know, we know you are so, 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 so generous. You really are. But I think there are more people out there that are, that are more qualified to, to take on some Henry. kind of responsibility. Henry, it beats hard time. And that's what you're going to get if you blow this. So just relax. Relax into it. Be comfortable. Just the beginning. Just the beginning. I never thought I'd say this. I miss Simon Fraser. <sighs> Honey, um, what are you doing? Well, didn't I just get done telling you I never wanted you to stop being you? And apparently they're asking me to do something illegal. I thought you didn't want me to do oh, it anymore. Oh, please. It's not like they're asking you to be pimp daddy to their stable of hookers. You just have to record a few conversations for the good of the community. He wouldn't have to leave the country, would he? A totally local job. He wouldn't have to go any further than the Lakeview Towers Hotel. I promise. Uh, Simon, look, man, nobody's trying to force you into anything you don't want to do. If you're having doubts about this, that's fine. But maybe you could just steer us in the direction of somebody who could help us. 
Good idea. That's a great idea. That's a really... Don't you think? Terrific. I don't think that's a good very idea. good idea. He'll take it. <sighs> Face it, sweetie. I know you love me. But if you're here 24 hours a day playing nursemaid to me day in and day out, eventually you're gonna go buy a gun. <laughs> that's not funny. You know what else isn't funny? Divorce. You're gonna get so sick of me. Simon, do this. Simon, do that. All right, so, fine. I'll, I'll buy some earplugs, all right? But you need someone here with you right now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with you. But it doesn't have to be you all the time. Come on, help them. You're helping the community? And think of it as um, preventative couples therapy. <clears throat> Come on, do it for me. Do it for us. And them, and everyone. Please. Yep, fine. <laughs> Great. When do we start? You know, boarding school can be a wonderfully enriching experience. Thank you. Really? Did you attend one? Yes, I did. For a few years, as a matter of fact. And I enjoyed every minute of it. Oh. So that's where you learned it. <laughs> My manners. How to be so sneaky and underhanded while smiling that tight, superior smile. You know, some people say that gratitude is just a euphemism for deep resentment. I'd hate to think that's what's going on here. Would you please be so kind as to tell me why you're attacking me? Would you be so something? kind as to cut the crap, Rosanna? <sighs> I beg your pardon? You don't want to help Allison. You want her out of the picture. Why would I want Alice in that? Why? Approach? Because she's a threat to you. She can prove what a bad, bad girl you've been, Rosanna. Trying to break up an adolescent love affair. Why, because you can't scrape together one of your own? Or is it to prove to Craig what a team player you can be? You know, I have no idea what you're talking about. And as I suspected, this meeting is a bit of a waste of time. Do you need a visual aid, Rosanna? Would you please stop waving your cell phone around and get to the point? This is your cell phone and we both know it. That's my point. I know everything, Rosanna. Everything. Allison told me what you're up to with Lucy and Aaron and that little tart from Seattle. So you can either call my mother and tell her you've changed your mind about footing the bill for Allison's boarding school. Why would I change my mind? Well, you'll come up with something. You always do. Because if you don't, I'm taking this phone to Lucy, and I'm gonna let her read the log where all the calls are listed, and she'll be able to see for herself what you've been up to. Of course, I'll fill in all the blanks. I'll let her know that you and Craig were the ones who paid off Aaron's old girlfriend to stir up trouble. You flew her all the way out here, put her up in a fancy hotel. You know, I'm kind of surprised Allison hasn't told her herself. Well, you know what? I don't think she wanted Lucy to know just how low you and Craig would go to get your way. Because she has a heart, integrity, me? I think Lucy deserves to know exactly what she's up against. Well, if you're going to tell the child, tell her. Is that what you want? Really? Hmm? Because if I tell Lucy, she's never going to trust her father again, and I cannot imagine the sacrifices that Craig's going to go to to get back into his daughter's good graces. And you know he's going to say something like, I had nothing to do with it. My hands are clean. I bet you he'll blame you, Rosanna and you'll be left out in the cold. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna call my mother, or am I gonna take this little phone and pay a visit to Craig and Lucy? A little something I whipped up in the butler's pantry. Here. Looks almost edible. Well, dig in, come on. Not one bite till you tell me what's going on in your head about my future. Well, I was thinking about school starting up again. Oh, don't remind me. And what that's going to mean for you and Aaron. And why does it have to mean anything? Well, this is your senior year. Your last chance to show all those colleges why you should be at the top of their lists. Dad. You and Aaron discussed your going off to college? Not really. Yet. Has Aaron met many of your friends from Oakdale Lab? What friends? Allison's leaving. Yeah, but you're no longer the new girl in the block, you know? People know you, you the country club or something. I guess. Well, it means more parties, more friends. You're going to be visiting universities all over the country, visiting your mom, lavish vacations with your father. 
Or does that leave Aaron? I knew you were going to start your daily Aaron attack sooner or later. Well, how have I attacked Aaron today? Well, then what's with all the questions? Do you want to spare him, hurt him? I would never hurt Aaron. Well, sweetness, I'm only asking questions here that it's obvious you haven't asked yourself. Like, how's a guy who's hard-pressed to wear a belt gonna feel wearing a tuxedo all night at a debutante party? Or how's Mr. Monosyllable gonna make conversation at a college mixer or at a dinner party of your mother's where you're playing hostess to dignitaries from all over the world? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. If we come to what? it. Well, oh, sweetness, look, I'm looking at this from Aaron's side of the fence. I have been there before. You know, I mean, it's one thing when you fit with your someone when it's just the two of you alone, but out in public, you know, things change. Is that the way you felt with Mom? Well, I was very happy with your mother at first, but when I entered her world, those things changed. I wasn't Craig Montgomery anymore. I was Mr. Sierra Esteban. And that uh, undermined me. It uh, made me insecure. And that uh, led to issues with our marriage, uh, the other women. Oh, but look, I'm talking too much, okay? Just, just think about it. Huh? I went out and picked up your bike this morning. What's left of it. It's not that bad. There were some pretty heavy-duty skid marks. It wasn't just an accident, wasn't it? What do you mean? You were showing off for Lucy. You were pulling stunts and tricks. You both could have been killed. And I've been kicking myself ever since it happened. But I didn't think... No, that's this just it. You don't think. The world is more than just you and Lucy Montgomery. I know that. Everything you do has an effect on everyone around you, and it's time you started living your life that way. Lily found out about the accident this morning. She had a checkup at the doctor. You know what the doctor said? That her blood pressure was sky high. Do you have any idea what can happen to a woman at this stage of her pregnancy when her blood pressure is that high? She could die, Aaron, and so could the baby. I'm sorry, okay? I never meant for Lily to worry. If something happened to Lily or that baby, I would go crazy. Yeah, I know that, Aaron. But you keep getting yourself into these explosive situations. I just can't have that around the rest of my family right now. I just won't do it because somebody's gonna end up getting hurt. Look. Okay. You know that I love you, and I look at you, I see myself, and I get you. But there are other times when I look at you and I feel like I'm looking at a complete stranger. And you have this drive to be more than what people expect. Maybe that's what keeps getting you into trouble. But the bottom line is you won't look at it. You won't go to see a shrink. You won't talk to anyone about it. So I have to go back to what I told you before. You're a part of this family, you follow the rules, or you're gone. Please don't send me away. Please. I love being here. I love being a part of your family. And yes, I love Lucy too. I mean, so much that I, I can't be away from her. I just can't. Can't you understand that? I understand that if what you have is real, it will survive. Doesn't matter how much time has passed, doesn't matter how much distance there is between you, just go back to Seattle for a while. You can't force me to. Caleb and Julie are already on their way. They're gonna be here tomorrow morning. to go further. Today, there is Adver. Ain't no mountain high enough.
Advair is clinically proven to increase symptom-free days because Advair is the first and only product to effectively treat the two main components of asthma, airway constriction and inflammation. No other single product does that. Advair won't replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden symptoms and should not be taken more than twice a day. People switching from an oral steroid like prednisone to Advair, which contains an inhaled steroid, need to be especially careful. While adjusting to the switch, your body may not be as able to heal after surgery, infection, or serious injury. If you have heart or blood pressure problems, tell your doctor. Some people may experience a change in heart rhythm. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve. Ask your doctor if Advair is right for you. Advair, because life should take your breath away, not asthma. It tastes like pepperoni pizza. That's what you get with new pepperoni pizzazzaroli. It's positively pizza-rific. Thank goodness. Try new cheesy burger, too. I'm a lawyer who helps homeless kids find places to live. My life is stressed, and the first place stress shows up is my skin. Dove Nutrium Body Wash is rich with beads of nutrients and vitamin E. Nutrium makes my skin feel healthy. It nourishes skin and actually improves it for a healthier glow. Nutrium is a little way that I can nourish myself. When my skin feels healthy, I feel like I can take the world on for me and for my kids. In this place, I see a lot of gas. I also see a lot of folks taking medicines that don't fight gas. But Gas-X has the most powerful medicine to relieve gas fast. Nothing I've seen works faster. Gas-X beats the bloat fast. Canker sores hurt all day. I've got to stop the pain and keep it away. Oragel Ultra Mouth Sore Medicine. Only Oragel has two fast-acting pain relievers, plus a unique protective shield against irritation. Sounds great. Oragel. Fast relief, lasting protection. If you missed any of the Survivor Thailand premiere, catch it from the beginning. A special encore presentation of the Survivor premiere, CBS Saturday, right after Big Brother. You've made CSI, television's most watched drama. Now, get ready for CSI Miami. It's as bad as it looks. It's worse than it looks. It's the most anticipated new drama of the season. I know what happened on this plane. CSI Miami, premiere CBS Monday. This week at Bay, pay nothing until 2004. That's no deposit, no interest, no payments till 2004. And free delivery. Sale ends Monday. You'll always buy better at Bay. By calling Consumer Credit Counseling Service, we can help you get out of debt. Can you lower our bills into one monthly payment? Yes, we can. At Consumer Credit Counseling. And in many cases, we can help waive or reduce interest charges completely. Can you help stop the collection calls? At Consumer Credit Counseling, we can help eliminate collection calls by working with your creditors directly. Can you help me now? Yes, we can. Simply get your bills together and call Consumer Credit Counseling Services to receive your free financial consultation. This week at Bay, pay nothing until 2004. That's no deposit, no interest, no payments till 2004. And free delivery. Sale ends Monday. You'll always buy better at Bay. She lost her home. Now can her ex take her for more? She broke my chain. Aw, uh, put it back in your pocket. <laughs> Judge Judy. Today at 3 on CBS 2. The powerful season premiere of JAG. CBS Tuesday. All right, now this is the basic layout of Travis's room. We need to know who he's dealing with, who comes to his room after hours. Who sneaks upstairs in the service elevator. Who he calls the names of anybody that he's working with right, or right, for. Right. So we're going to have to bug the entire room, not just the phone. Okay. And we're going to need a nearby hotel room so we can pick up what the mic is saying. All right. Um, but, Simon, when you said surveillance electronics wasn't your strong point, does that mean you're going to have to hire someone? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't mind. Let's go. Who is it? Um, Paul. 
Why don't you go to the Lakeview, um, rent out a, a suite right near Travis so we can watch who's coming and going. All right, I'm on it. Simon? Thanks, man. No problem. Yes, Simon, you are definitely doing the right thing. Thank you. Take good care of yourself. Mm, All right. Oh, take good care of my husband. <laughs> yeah, we will. All right, Bye. Simon, thanks again. Man. All right. Farewell, good night. So the company's gone. Hmm? You've had your little bit of distraction. Now it's off to bed with you no, right no, now, no. young lady. Come on. Please, no. Well, at least not unless you tell me who you're going to get to help you with Travers' room. Sleep. You're going to go and get some sleep if I have to drag you upstairs kicking and screaming. Why can't you tell me who your accomplice is? Because you were trying to weasel your way into this investigation. It's not going to happen. Oh. <laughs> yeah. See, I know you. You know I'm not going to yeah. sleep unless you tell me who it is. You are going to take a nap if I have to tie you to the bedposts. Oh, now you're talking. Yeah. <laughs> ah. no, 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 I want to stay no. down here, please. You tell are me who going it is. to bed. Just tell me who it is. Shh. Oh, can't wait to get me packed up and cleared out, can you? What is this? Like everything I've ever owned? Honey, it had to be done. It had to be done. Is that what you tell your patients after you chopped off their leg? <sighs> oh, like I'm really supposed to bring this. It was a gift from your father. I just thought... Why not just tattoo the word loser to my forehead? Sweetie, you are not a loser. That's the whole point. That's why you're going to Wentworth. That's why I'm not giving up on you. That's why you want to get rid of me. No, I, I know what's going on. This egg donor experiment you had going on with Emily went way, way wrong, so now it's time to get rid of the evidence. Start fresh. Uh, maybe if you don't have to look at me, you can pretend I never happened. Allison, finish packing. We have an interview with a headmistress at noon tomorrow, and I want to be on the road in the morning. Mom, really forcing me to do this? Really sending me away from home? If it comes down to a choice between you and Lucy, Craig's gonna leave you in the dust. And your point would be? If Lucy finds out what you've done, you'll never hear the end of it. You'll never get another night's rest, and you bet you can kiss Craig goodbye. Because it won't just be Lucy. No, because teenagers tend to get their revenge in packs these days. It'll be Lucy, Aaron, of course, All right, Allison. I get your message. The phone, please. I don't think so. Well, I can't very well make a phone call without a phone now, can Well, I? I'm sure you bought a replacement, Rosanna. Use that. You're not getting this baby back till the deed's done. But just to prove how generous I can be, what do you say we finish our lunch before we head back to business, hmm? Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. You know, whoever said revenge is a dish best served cold really knew what she was talking about. Jimmy, I'd like it if the yard was raked before I get back. Totino's pizza rolls are so easy, kids can make them on their own. I thought Mom said to rake the yard. That's what I'm doing. Here, take these outside. Big pizza flavor stuffed into a bite-sized roll. Yep, yep. Cool. Jimmy, how'd you do all that? That's what. Yep, yep. Totino's. It's how kids help themselves. Now in two new flavors. That's 12 items. No, no. The three gains are one item. 12 eggs are one item. But each one smells different. Gain smells like sunshine. Gentle breeze gain smells cool and refreshing. And you island fresh gain smells tropical and exhilarating. Well, Gladys, you smell very nice yourself. Right. The smell says clean. Three ways. <laughs> you two are up early. Someone wanted to see the sunrise. Getting away to the country was a great idea. I know. Even the food tastes better out here. Something's new about country crock churn style. Sweet, creamy, now even more like fresh churn butter. Porch swing, sunrise, this place has everything. Mm-hmm. All the comforts of home. Country Crock Churn Style. Now, even more like fresh churn butter. The latest advancement in moisturizers is here. New Biore Facial.
Facial Moisturizer. It reduces the appearance of fine lines and makes unwanted facial hair softer, finer, and less visible. It's beyond smooth from Biore. Brilliant. We're showing off the practicality of Scott Tissue in a place where common sense reigns supreme. In Scotland. <laughs> Let her rip! Every roll has a thousand sheets. And it's soft as a lamb and apple. I like the name. Scott Tissue, common sense on a roll. Hey, Steve, let me ask you something. What's that? How do you keep your toilet so clean? Oh, stop. No, seriously, let's have it. I touch it up with Scrubbing Bubbles toilet wipes. Oh, I heard about those. Oh, they clean like a dream. And get this, they're flushable. Get out. Yeah, the wipes break up in water. They're even septic tanks safe. Now if I could just get my wife to use them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, Coaster Chief. Scrubbing Bubbles Toilet Wipes. Flushable makes it easy. S.C. Johnson, a family company. CBS Monday. TV's best night of comedy kicks off a whole new season. With a king of queens that's full of surprises. Yeah. And when your kid lies, do you spank? Who are we, Bill Cosby? Bill Cosby didn't spank his kids. Who am I thinking of? Bing Crosby. Yes, dear. Then, can Ray save his brother from a cult? What if they, they drug me and I wake up chained to a goat? You just described my wedding. Raymond's season premiere, part of a full hour on a night of premieres. CBS Monday. After I get you the information that you need on Paul Ryan, guy, and then you'll get the rest of your money. And you'll uh, take care of that pesky old arrest record like you promised? I gave you my word. <laughs> For what that's worth. Now's your chance. Paul Ryan just walked in. And he sees us. How am I supposed to handle this? What am I supposed to do? Well, you'll find a way to fix it. Just, you're on your own. Improvise. Well, if that's the way you want it. <laughs> uh, you will not get away with this. <laughs> I will never forgive you. I'll make damn sure of that. You damn sure won't get away with this, young lady. I'll make damn sure of that. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my gosh, it's you. What's going on? Thank God you're here. You've got to help me. How about I call the video store and get every Jim Carrey movie ever made, huh? I'm not breaking up with Aaron, no matter what you say. Well, where does that come from? I can make my own decisions. I know that. Well, then why are you saying all that stuff about Aaron not fitting in? Because I do happen to know a thing or two about that subject. No, you don't. You always fit in everywhere. Yeah, no, no, don't forget, I was the nurse's son who married a big-time heiress. And that didn't work out. And that caused a lot of people a lot of pain, including you and me. People don't have to be clones of each other for it to work out. No, but they should have something in common, something in their upbringing, some goals, some, some, uh, some dreams. I mean, how's Aaron going to feel when he's working for minimum wage in some nowhere job while you're off at some Ivy League school being groomed to take over the world? The school doesn't last forever. And neither will a low-paying job. Everybody's got to start somewhere. Uh, yes, you're right. Okay, I won't say anything more about that. How about those movies? Huh? Dad, do you think I'm bad for Aaron? Oh, Lucy, you could never be bad for anybody. For anybody. On the contrary, I have seen Aaron grow and mature since he met you. I only bring this stuff up because, well, because I've sensed what's come between you. You have? Oh. Yeah, you're two different people on two different paths towards two different dreams. Listen, take it from somebody who's been there, who knows. To keep somebody from their dream is, uh, it's cruel, even if it's unintentional. Does that make you sad? Maybe part of what you're saying is true. 
Maybe I am being unfair to Aaron. Sending you away to boarding school is not some sort of whim or passing fancy. It never crossed your mind until Rosanna Cabot opened up her big yap. No, it's been on my mind a long time that I've lost control of you. That if I do something soon, I'm going to create a monster. Great, I get punished because you realize late in life you made basic child-rearing errors? This is not a punishment. Then getting ripped away from everything I ever know and love is a reward for good behavior? It's time that you learned that the world is not your personal playground. There are consequences to your actions. I knew that a long time ago. No, unfortunately, you didn't. You haven't even begun to grow up. Hello? Susan. Rosanna Cabot. Rosanna! How nice to hear from you. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Not at all. Allison and I were just uh, packing up the last of her things. Tomorrow's our big day at Wentworth. Yes, about that. I am so sorry to have to do this to you, Susan, but I'm afraid there's been a problem. Oh, no. <laughs> what kind of problem? Now relief is just a shuffle away. Uh -huh. Introducing new Bear Extra Strength Back and Body. It soothes aching muscles and sore backs with the trusted strength of Bear Aspirin to work effectively at the site of pain, plus a special pain relief enhancer. Nothing works better than Bear Back and Body. Not Advil, not Tylenol. Get moving again, pain-free. New Bear Back and Body. Wherever you go, whatever you go through, Dry, scratchy, irritated eyes don't have to come with the territory. You've got Visine Tears. Whenever eyes get dry, scratchy, irritated, Visine Tears can soothe, moisturize, and protect like your own natural tears. And best of all, Visine Tears is safe to use as often as you need. Visine Tears relieves dry eyes like your own natural tears. All Melanie's dreams are about to come true. Oh, my God. Her future mother-in-law is thrilled. Oh, my God. But Melanie's still married to the boy back home. Oh, my God. On September 27th. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. One woman has one week what? to fix one big problem. Ah! Reese Witherspoon. Oh, my God. Sweet Home Alabama. Look at you. Look at you. You have a baby in a bar. Rated PG-13. We're pulling over a plumber's truck. Sir, step out of the truck, please. Is there a problem, officer? Keep your hands down there, sweetheart. Well, well, well. This is suspicious. But I'm a plumber. So what's a plumber doing with professional strength liquid plumber clog remover? I admit it. I've used it on backed up sinks. That's pretty serious. Oh, yeah. You pour it in. It's like a missile. It cuts right through the water to deliver some serious power to that clog. And wow. Clog's gone. Professional strength liquid plumber on tough clogs. Don't get caught without it. Hmm. Donut. That's not funny. Cooking, cleaning, my hands spend more time underwater than a lobster. Luckily, there's palm olive. It removes tough baked down grease better than that blue liquid. And it's mild as ever on hands. Come on, get your hands wet. Palm olive, tough on grease, soft on hands. New in the Slim Fast Plan, banana cream. The smooth, nutritious way to help manage your weight. Fast. It's your life. Feed it right. Bobby had a minor infection. I got a paper cut. How come it almost killed her? What you need to know about silent killers. 48 hours tonight. If Carol Burnett's not enough for one Friday night, how about Barbara Streisand, Candace Bergen, Tina Turner, Shirley MacLaine, and Mike Wallace? A special edition of 60 Minutes tonight. I threw my drink in Marshall's face. What was I thinking? Let me help you. Hmm? No one can help oh, me now. Brandy, I can protect you. I can. Just after you tell me everything that's going on with Travers. All right. But I'm 
Not here. He knows everyone. I, I'll find some place safe and I'll call you. Do you have a cell phone? Yeah. Call me as soon as you're safe. I'll be waiting. Mm. Oh, God. What would I do without you? It's funny. I was just thinking the same thing about you. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Very soon. <laughs> Um, after you've finished with the boxes, you can carry them down to the mail room, okay? Yeah. Ah, uh, Lucinda, hi. It's Simon. Oh, hello, Simon, darling. How is that brave little wife of yours? Oh, well, she's sleeping at last. Good. Then she won't hear me telling you how very, how very unhappy with you I am. What have I done? It's what you have not done. It seems to me that I let you borrow Henry because you, I thought, could instill a modicum of work ethic in him. <clears throat> that bad, huh? Worse. Well, I'll tell you what, how about I take him off your hands for a little bit? You want to borrow him? Again? Whatever for? Well, it seems I've got a job that's absolutely perfect for Henry, tailor-made for him and his skills. That's if it's all right with you. Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh. No, I don't know. I mean, there's so much to be done around here. I don't know whether I can. <laughs> sure, he's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems that you have impressed Simon with your decorating skills to the extent oh. that he has to have you again. Bless you, Miss Walton. God bless you. You won't regret this, I no, promise. No, don't. Please, don't make me regret it. I'll see you later. Much later. I am so sorry to have to do this to you, Susan, but I was just speaking with my attorney about Allison receiving the Wentworth scholarship, and, well, he informed me that we're, well, we're no longer endowing it. Oh, no. But I thought that... Yes, yes, I, I feel just awful about it, but we give away so many millions of dollars each year. In fact, there's an entire team of people dedicated to the task, and, well, I, frankly, I just lost track. My profuse apologies. Of course. These things happen. But if you would like me uh, to pay for Allison's tuition out of my own personal funds... Absolutely not. I could never ask you to pay Allison's way. It's simply mortifying being the one that came up with a perfect plan and then being the one to throw a wrench into the works. Well, these things happen. Sorry it didn't work out. Thanks for letting me know. Bye-bye. Nice touch, offering to pay her tuition herself. That was very good. Well, I suspected she would be too proud to accept outright charity. You know, Rosanna, it's been a real pleasure doing business with you. Oh. Lunch was on you. Thanks. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? Is your dad around? He's on the phone in his room. Why don't you just stand there, come in and tell me what's wrong. We can solve it together. I don't think so, Lucy. Well, of course we can. But you know why? Because everything is going our way. Yeah. Glad you're here. You can keep Lucy company. See this, I'm going to the country club to see what's in. I'll be back in a couple hours. Okay. Yeah. Don't miss me too much. you like Bill? Better. Much better. But everything's better now that you're here. So what is it? Tell me. Uh, Lucy? Holden wants me to go back to Seattle. Tomorrow. If you've had a heart attack or a stroke, the last thing you need is another one sneaking up on you. After all, you've got better...